Hi students, I'm going to show you how to customize your learning journal that we'll use during our live class sessions. So you, would you check your email and you will receive an email message from me and I want you to click on that attachment and I want you to click download. Okay, and then you will probably see like a little arrow on the top corner or maybe on the bottom. You're going to click on that and you're going to go here. And then it's going to pop up your weekly um, learning journal. So you're going to click edit to customize it as you would on yours. So I'm going to customize it. Mr. Pooh Bears Learning Journal. And then I'm going to probably make the font a little small since um, it's too big. I'm going to minus it. Okay, highlight that section. And then I'm going to minus the font. So you guys can see learn in journal too. Yeah, Mr. Pooh Bear has a long name. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to also copy learning to make it the same font or about the same size. We're getting there. Okay. And then let me um, delete journal. There we go. Now we fit it in all in one font. And I want you guys to put a um, image of, your, of yourself so that you can take a selfie. So you're going to go here and you're either going to choose a photo that you've already created of yourself or you can go ahead and take a photo now. But Mr. Pooh Bear already took his selfie, so he's ready to go. So you're going to insert him. And I'm going to make sure that we see him. There we go. Now we see his lovely face. And now we have uh, Mr. Pooh Bear's learning journal. And um, hopefully I'm going to be able to use these learning journals during your life. So when I'm talk, showing a math example, you guys will be able to write it down in your learning journal. And do the problem as well. So there's a math, language arts, and spelling. But for now, I want you guys just to customize the first page of your um, of your learning journal. And um, I'm not requiring you guys to send this back to me. But if you like to share your example, I'm more than happy to take a look at it. But for now, I want you guys to just be comfortable and play around with pages on your iPad. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks.